Welcome to the Designing with Fractal Learning series. In this video, we will show you our exciting new online design program and how to quickly get started using it. There are lots of great things to learn about the Fractal Collection, and we will cover these in other videos, but today we'll focus on getting started using the Fractal Design Tool to make and save designs. You can access the design tool in a few different ways, from the plyboo.com website, or you can go directly to design.plyboo.com. While it's not mandatory that you set up an account, we highly recommend that you do so as a way to find and save your fractal designs. To do that, you go here to the My Fractal, and then you hit register to log in and set up your account. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Now the fastest way to get started is to go to this create your own button and it'll give you a nice quick tutorial that you can walk through and learn some of the aspects of the product, the advanced tools, and how to share your design. And then you click got it and it'll present you with a blank canvas to get started. Anytime you want to hit create your own and just simply say got it, you can move ahead to a blank screen where you can begin to create a design. Now I like to go here to some of these preset designs as a way to get started and not have to fill in the whole page. So here's a design called Composition 2. I can change it to all to a different color. I can also modify the designs by going in and using different colors or patterns. I like to add the scale and the grid to help me orient myself in the design. Then I can also erase tiles if I wanted, for example, a smaller design. I can shape the design in any way that I see fit. I can change the furniture, I can remove the grid, I can randomize. I'm going to change this color so you can see that a little bit better. There you go. And then we can randomize and we can rotate and we could clear all and start again. I'm going to just put a design back in here. I'm going to choose Portal, and I'm going to save this design. And now that'll be available to me in my Fractal account. You have the opportunity here to email and to create a link. Also, for printing your design, you want to make sure that your print settings are so that background images are shown and that you're in landscape orientation. So that's a really quick overview, but I think it's enough to get you started and playing with the, the tool. And we will have more videos that will talk more about the geometry and how to apply the various designs.